to also build here. So the train terminal, by grace of God, uh, is in the budget. And um, I believe by the time the procurement process is over, we have to lay the foundation. And it's, for me, it should be a one year project. It should oh. be a one year project. All right, tell me, please, sir. But, 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 but the man, but not government, we are not going to run it. Because if you are running by government, you need to work. Yeah. So we'll give the operators to run it for us. I want to take you to River State now. We'll talk about politics where the assembly has accused Governor Fubara, yes. you know, of not sticking to, you know, the well, agreement they signed earlier. And a lot of people are mm -hmm. saying that you some wiki is at it again. That you have a kind of hold on the assembly member and this is Yusuf Wiki again complaining against Governor Superbara threatening to resume impeachment proceedings. Okay. What is this perpetual problem between you and Governor Simulai Fubara? Just like uh, I know when you life fair is in, you know, I have decided not to bother myself in politics, rather concentrate and the assignment given to me by Mr. President. And that I've been doing. I didn't even go for Easter. I stayed back here because of the heavy workload I have in my hand. But now you have asked me, why do you people believe I have a hold on the assembly people? Because they were your boss. They are my boys. Yeah. Who is not my boy that's elected? The governor to his own. My boy. Yes. Uh, so, but I don't have a hold on him. Yes. I have a hold on the, on the assembly people. <laughs> you know, the problem people don't understand is that I was in the other day. I saw a political conference made by transitional politicians. Political vampires, political buccaneers. Not elder statesmen. Who what makes them elder statesmen? You know who's called an elder statesman? An elder statesman is a man who must have integrity. He must not be here today, here tomorrow. But I thought that's politics. No, that's not politics. That's lack of integrity. Why am I not like that? If somebody does but, not agree with you. No, not agree with me. Listen, listen, listen. Not agree with me. So they call integrity. Let me tell you what's called integrity. Take for example, if you allow me to analyze mm -hmm. one by one, let me just tell you. In 2007, when Amechi came on board, after the Supreme Court judgment in October 25th or 26th, 2007, Uche Secundus, Abia Sekibo, Osnopra, Lee Meba, Salas so Nomea, we, we threw him out, that 26, that we threw out Salas uh, uh, Nomea. And the Supreme Court, of course, said he was never a governor in the eyes of the law. After that judgment, at, at that time, Secundus was the state chairman of PDP Rivers. After that judgment, he came to us, Hilton. I cried that he's the only son of the mother. That look, we should not allow him to go that way. When Selection lost the Supreme Court, it's okay. But you are the chairman of PDP. We went. Selection has sworn in council chairman. Now, we went to court. This was uh, uh, Secundus, who was the state chairman when Omeha was made the candidate and temporary governor. Then, you know what he did? He came to court to testify that those council chairmen, he did not submit their name to research. This is the man who was with Omeha. Simply because the judgment is not against Omeha, 
There's no local government. He ran down to us. The Amici State. And testified for us in court. And that was our court notified. All the council chairmen then notified their seats. Is that a matter of integrity? It's not whether you agree with me or not. I'm just telling you now. That is why. But you supported him to higher position as the PDP. Who don't know? I'm coming now. As PDP chairman. Look, look, you see, that is my problem. You ask question. I want to give you background when it says testament. What makes them uh, that statement? Is it because you have faced 70 years? Is it because you have had a seat before, a position before? You can be a governor, but without integrity, I have no business with you. Yes. Okay, take for example. If they are men of integrity, you say. You remember what happened in our last election? These are the people who called me killer because I was trying to force them to support a man who will not live long, who his life has been determined that look, there's no way of wasting their time to support him. I'm trying to force them. Now, you know that Omeha and Abechi are first cousins. You know that when Amechi came on board, he was the one who removed Omeha's picture. That he was never governor. I don't know whether you understand that. Do you understand that? Mm. All of you. Mm. Do you understand that? Mm. It was Amechi who removed his picture. And then when I became governor, politically, to give him a saving face. When he agreed with you. No, no, no. We want to listen now. I don't need to agree with me. I've defeated them all the time. I put his picture there. But do you know what happened in the last election? And all of them to team up, to work for Tiku, and they have to reconcile with Omeha by attending Omeha's daughter's wedding at Corpus Christi. All of them teamed up to support Atiku. Of course. What happened? They couldn't give her to be even ten percent. We flogged them mercilessly. <laughs> now the same people, this you know, I told them, look, the the our elder, Chief Freddy Alabrava, our former chairman, Ambassador Delmuda Kawu, and the governor himself, they went to us to the press house. Please. The governor has emerged as a candidate. Support him. You know what she said? He cannot serve master and serve boy. He cannot do it. Today, you are not only serving boy, you are waiting for him on the road now. Is that integrity? I mean, I, 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 what is <laughs> people have, I, if you will have children, they won't say, Daddy, what kind of life is this? You mean this can happen just now? And then that's what you call politics. The same people now who said this governor was a new fight, not just my boy, was a new fight. How can they bring themselves down to go and support him? They wrote a petition. When this government was to go and collect his certificate in PDP. So they carried the rumor to are you the then chairman that the chairman that the governor is being looked for by EFCC. And so they say he was not coming to PDP Secretariat National. But they were surprised the governor came and picked his uh, well, I know the, the antics. They wrote to the EFCC. And before they knew there's a judgment against the FCC because I know how they behave. They did that to Amechi. When they gave Amechi ticket, Slatoli in the back came out and I owned up that yes, they were the ones who wrote a petition to EFCC when I knew everybody was there. But do you know what happened? When Amechi 